In today's video, we're gonna tackle the two hardest bunker shots in the world. By the end of today's video, I'm gonna give you the two tips, two tips, which means you will no longer fear them, they'll no longer be hard, and they will feel so, so simple. A lot of you the other week, I put a video up saying, and put a video up all about bunker play on a standard bunker shot, and all of you were asking about these two. Number one, plugged ball, fried egg, absolutely something horrible. You fear walking up to that, or your playing partners go, oh, don't want that shot. Well, actually, that is gonna become one of the easiest shots in the world. And you must be thinking, Alex, you've completely lost your mind. This is the approach you need to take. So we need to really change it up completely, our whole mentality, and think of that shot is a specialist shot. We don't want to treat it like a normal bunker shot. It is absolutely specialist. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep our golf club in a nice kind of square to close position. Yes, you heard me right, square to close, not square to open. We're going to grip down so we're just short of the steel, and we're going to scoot our setup a little bit close to the golf ball with the ball back in our stance. So we've made these compensations from our traditional setup to allow the club to get into the sand, dig down into the sand more to get the ball out. As opposed to being a more of a splash through the sand, it's more of a dig and release. We want the club to work into the sand and get it out. That's why it's key. So we're going to scoot a little bit closer, weight's going to go to the left, ball in the back of the stance, Ultimately, this is the thing I want you to take away from this first stage. Grip pressure, make it feel as though it's five out of 10. Don't be squeezing the toothpaste out the tube. And we're gonna drop the club on the back of the ball. Practice that almost long backswing to short follow through. It's a stun of the back of the ball, as opposed to a normal traditional splash. So you can see the difference in my shot. Here we go, proofs in the pudding now, Alex ball back, light grip pressure, square to close face, weight left, stun follow through. Straight out, onto the top, and actually, well, I'm a little bit overexcited about that. That was unbelievable. I was expecting it not to come out as good as that, but that proof, that is absolute proof right there why that technique is so simple, and you've got to use it. Fried egg. This is really, really important you get this set up right and the feeling in the swing. So let's run through it again. We want a club face that is quite slightly square to closed and this will allow the club to dig into the sand. It's so important. So, ball back in the stance, a narrower stance to our conventional bunker shot, weight on your left side, long back swing to short stun follow through. Grip pressure, feels as though the expression that I'd use is, and it sounds a bit wishy-washy, is I feel like I'm just letting go of the club onto the back of the ball. So here we go. Ball towards the back of my stance, weight left, slightly square to close face, scoot a little bit closer, grip down, we're now good to hit it. Ah, oh, I mean, let's have a look at those two shots. Bear in mind, a lot of you will have seen that first ball being plugged and gone, oh no, oh no, I don't like them. Look at our results. One inside 10 feet, one on the top tier. I mean, this shot's made even harder by the McKenzie drop. So we've got that right, we've got it on this top tier. I now have a chance to make that three. At worst, I'm making a bogey now. A lot of you would have turned that shot right there into a double or even a triple. Let's get these and move on to number two. Now we all know at the moment, a lot of us, have, a lot of golf clubs have to rake the sand with our feet. And all of you have been asking me about this shot. This is the one you've all been asking. Bare lie in a bunker. No real sand under it. I mean, you can hear it there, look. I can't really get into that sand, there's nothing there. The club bounces, and this is where we have to adopt a very similar approach to what we just did. Very similar. So it was no coincidence that we picked that shot first because it's given us great foundation. So what we've got to think here is, if we had a lot of bounce on our golf club and there was no sand, our leading edge, which is the bounce is the difference between the front and the back of the golf club, would sit really pronounced. Like imagine you did that on some concrete, that pronounced leading edge would sit really high. A lot of us try and adopt this same technique. The club bounces because the sand is compact, it's hard. Poo! 
20, 30 yards over the green. It's no good. It's a card wrecker, especially here. I mean, look how thick the rough is right now. It is a card wrecker. So what I want you to do is, I want you to play this very similar to how we just played the last shot. We're gonna make these adjustments. Still gripping towards the steel. Ball just back in middle, not on the back foot. Weight on the left side. We're gonna scoot closer to it. Again, we're gonna take the same technique, long back swing to short follow through, but with a ball position that's a little bit more towards the front. Think about it this way. We're gonna need less speed because there is less sand. So less speed, less sand, and we're looking for a, book, a club that's digging into the sand. We think about it this way. If we've got our club digging in this way, we can go into that sand. I know there's not a lot, rather than if we've got the bounce, it's gonna bounce off the hard sand, hit above the equator of the golf ball, pinging off. It's not what we want. It's not what we want. So ball just back of middle, weight left, scoot a little bit closer, back, stun through. This is our technique. That is how we gotta play those shots. And you can see there, that divot looks so similar to the divot you make for a normal shot. It wasn't like a normal bunker shot, it was a normal shot like you'd have out on the golf course. So I really hope those tips make it simple, make it easy. Let's remember these key points. A more traditional chipping setup with a weight on the left side. We're then gonna grip down just short of the steel, and this is the ultimately key point. And I'm gonna put this into one. Light grip pressure, long backswing, stun follow through, it gets the club entering the sand like this, rather than bouncing off that hard pan. And that is how you're gonna play that shot, have results like this. And I think about it this way, all we're trying to do in situations like that is give ourselves a chance of hitting the green. So measuring our expectation is also a very key point.